So the shipping cost they stroke your AV and you they look for a way to reduce them. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can reduce your shipping cost if you are only mini importation, whether in Nigeria or in any other Africa country. So in the past few months, we agree with me that the rate of dollars has been so unbearable for most people that is in, into importation, especially those people that their profit margin is not really high. So this thing is really affecting. Even some of us that they are, our profit margin is kind of high, a little bit. By the time you do all this calculation, you find out that your profit margin is actually going down. For example, there is a product I was selling since 2022, and my profit margin for that product is actually 9,000 naira at that time. But towards the ending of 2023, my profit margin has reduced to 5,000 naira. So the only way to go about it is to try as much as possible to reduce the shipping cost because the price might not be able to reduce because dollar is rising the price might be the same like this particular product i'm talking about the price has been the same since i've been ordering for it but because the rate of naira to dollar is kind of moving then it looks like the price is going up so in this video i'm going to be showing you what i've done that have helped me to reduce this shipping cost and what you can also do for your business to re reduce this shipping cost now the shipping company i'm using is chris big Mal. i don't know the one you are using but this should work for any shipping company so if i come back to my dashboard this is my chris big Mal dashboard so you can see from here that on the 2nd of january 2024 you can see from here 2nd january 2024 i was about to ship an item and the kg was 42 kg now what i do here is that i use c shipping instead of air shipping now i'm going to be explaining more in details what you need to know about c shipping later in this video but what i'm just going to be showing you in this video is just a practical of what actually happened in the back end now this is the first one and you can see from here that this was 42 kg but i actually ship it by c and the cbn was 0.2 now if i show down for that you can see this is another product that was 26 kg and i ship it by c and the cbm was 0.25 now this is another shipping right here that was 27.3 kg and i ship it by c and the kg was and the cbn was 0.1 now you might be wondering what is cbn and all this thing all about now i'm as i said i'm going to be explaining what all this the cbn thing is all about later in the video but what I'm trying to do here is that I'm trying to reduce the cost amount on shipping as possible as I can. Now, if I come back to this recent order that I just placed, you can see that this is this year. So you can see that the, the kg was 42 kg. Now, increase with my 1 kg is $8.5. Now, if I come here and open my calculator. Now, if I calculate $8.5 times how much are they currently selling nearer to dollars at the time I, was, I made this order. Nera to dollar was 1250 Nera at the time I placed this order. So if I times that with $1,250, now it means that I'm going to be paying 10625 Nera per kg. Now, if Chris Big Mal is to calculate this, they're going to calculate it as 42.5 kg because they don't do all this 10 something. So for the 2.5, I come back here times 42.5 kg. Now, you can see that initially I'm supposed to be paying 455,562 Naira, 5 Kobo, to ship this particular item. So, thinking about this now, you will feel like oh, it's a small amount. But by the time you go deep down into how much you are making as profits from this particular product, you will know that you are spending too much on shipping, which is why I go ahead and use C shipping right here. Now, what happens is that Chris Vickman charge two hundred and seventy dollars by cbm now you can see from here that this is not even up to 0 0.5 cbm just 0 0.2 cbm now you might be wondering how can a 42 kg of item be 0 0.2 cbm and if i show down here you can see that this is 26 kg of item and it is 0 0.24 cbm why this in a reality this is supposed to be more the CBN for this one supposed to be more than this. So that is not how C-Shipping actually works. But before I talk about that, now you can see how much I was able to save 
by doing that so i actually end up paying 54 dollars to ship this item now if i go back if i go back and calculate that 54 dollars times 1250 you can see that I actually spent 64,000 naira instead of spending over 400,000 naira shipping that same item. Now, I'm going to be sincere with you here. Although I save money using this option, but there's another side of this option that you need to be aware about, uh, which is if I'm to ship this item by air, I'm supposed to get it within two weeks. But by sea, if I'm to if I ship it by sea, it's going to take three months. For the item to get here so if you are someone that likes to have order or product in stock every day of the week then this shipping might not really favor you but what i usually do is that now for example i'm supposed to pay four hundred and fifty thousand dollars for that shipping now i went ahead and paid sixty seven thousand for it so what i will do is that i will bring out the other money then reason to buy another product a little amount of product that is going to keep the stock a bit before the other one arrives. Then I use this money to buy those products. Then I ship it by ear, then get to me faster. Then once it gets to me, I will be selling those one little by little before the other item gets to Nigeria or to my country. Now, the good thing about this is that you might be thinking that it's still the same thing after all that um, you are still going to use here for the other one. Now, for example, this particular product, let's assume that I bought 1,700 pieces and I ship it by C. It's going to get to me for in the next three months. Now, now use the money that I'm supposed to use to ship that particular item. Then use it to buy like 400 pieces of the same product. Then ship it by air. I'm going to be selling that particular product, the one that I ship by air, while waiting for the other one by C. Now, the reality is that by the time the one I ship by C gets to me, and I sell it, I'm going to be making more profit from that particular product. Now, my profit margin for that particular product is going to be very high. Imagine paying 67,000 Naira for shipping instead of over 450,000 Naira. You can imagine how much you are saving there alone. So, automatically, you have made over 400k profit without even selling the product yet. So, that is the reality of how this thing works. Now, back to the question how this shipping of a thing work. Now, sheet shipping is very different from air shipping. A lot of my students do come to me and ask me, I they have so so amount of item and they want to know how it's going to the weight when they want to ship it by sea. It does not work like that. Sheet shipping is different from air shipping. With air shipping, what actually happens is that they are going to ship your item, you are going to be billing you based on the weight your item have, based on how heavy your item is. The more heavier your item is, the more amount they are going to charge you when you are use, when you are shipping it by air. Now, if you are shipping this by sea, what actually happens is that they are going to be charging you based on the space your product, your your goods occupy. Let's assume that you have item of forty five kg and it occupy a space like this. This is the forty five kg that the space is occupied. Now let's now assume that you have another item of twenty one kg. And it could occupy a space like this. Now, if they are to bill you, if they are to bill you based on these two items, you are going to be paying more amount for that item of 21 kg compared to the item of 45 kg if you are shipping it by sea. That is why it's not all the item you can ship by sea. If the item occupies more space and it does not have weight much, then it's best advised that you ship that kind of item by air. But if the item is very heavyweight item for someone like me, I do other product that has to do with liquid and other. So, and you know that by the time you calculate the bottle of the liquid that the liquid is in and the liquid itself, you know that this is a weight item. So, with that, you will know that this is heavy item. And if I ship it by air, I'm going to be paying a lot of money. So, that is why I always opt in into the sea shipping. As I said earlier, the weight of your item has nothing to do with CBN. CBN is calculated based on the space your goods occupy. Why air shipping is being calculated based on how heavy your product is. So this is a strategy I'll be using for my business, and it has really helpful because by the time this item now that I ship by sea gets to Nigeria, I'm going to be making a lot of profit from the item because I'm still going to be selling it the same price I said the item I ship by sea and pay more shipping fee for. But at the end of the day, I'll be making more profits 
doing this i hope you find this video helpful my name is sam green and in this channel i talk about e-commerce so if you want to learn more about e-commerce maybe you're already running an e-commerce business and you want to grow your e-commerce business i have a course that you can take so in the course i talk about how you can grow your e-commerce business and if you are a beginner into e-commerce i also have another course that is going to take you through from beginner to expert on e-commerce and in this channel i also talk about how you can make money online how you can run online advertisement and how you can design the wordpress website so i hope you find this video helpful i hope you find this video valuable if you find this video helpful kindly give this video a thumbs up so that youtube can recommend this video to more people like you share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel turn on the bell notification so that anytime i drop a new video just like this one you'll be among the first people to be notified